Where's my sister? Something horrible has happened. He did it. He has everything. What if we run out of time? I hope it doesn't come to that. You think you can cheat death? We should prepare for the worst. Hi, it's Janine Mason. Roswell, New Mexico premieres this Monday at 8, 7 central. Now a 10 gun violence explodes across America. Another mass shooting at a medical facility in Tulsa. Then a student shot near a school in the San Fernando Valley. Plus, only on five, a case of road rage turns into a brutal beating. One man ends up in the hospital, the other in handcuffs. A legal victory for Johnny Depp in his defamation case against ex-wife Amber Heard. What both actors are saying tonight. And shutting off the sprinklers. Severe water restrictions go into effect for millions of SoCal residents. Now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news in Los Alamitos, where officers are shutting down both sides of the 605 freeway after an explosive crash. Gil Labus overhead in Sky 5 tonight. Gil. I can share that's right. Both sides of the 605 freeway at Catella are shut down. This accident happening just after 9 o'clock tonight. Let's go to some cell phone video that we got in, sent to our uh, news station here. This all happening, like I said, 9 o'clock tonight. Southbound 605 at Catella. Now, CHP's reporting that this vehicle hit the center divider, flipped over, and ended up on fire. Now, we're, we're being told by the CHP that there is at least one fatality in this accident. But again, uh, the signal alert has been issued for both sides of the 605 freeway right now for an unknown duration. But you can see the damage done here on the freeway. The vehicle overturned. The fire department arriving on scene, putting that fire out. But unfortunately, one per at least one person has lost their life right now. I'll come out to a wide shot so you can see the backup here. And they are turning cars around in both directions and exiting the freeway here at Catella. That's the very latest overhead at Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, thank you. More gun violence in America tonight with a deadly mass shooting in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And here at home, gunfire rocks a high school campus in Valley Glen and a park in the Inland Empire. As more of the innocent victims are laid to rest in Uvalde, Texas, new gun violence claims at least five lives in Tulsa. And here at home, two shootings rock the Southland. A student is wounded near Grant High School in Valley Glen and deadly gunfire erupts near children at a park in Rialto. We have live team coverage beginning with John Fanola outside Grant High School in Valley Glen. John? Sure, Micah, good evening to you. L.A. school police say there is no longer a threat to Grant High School. However, this was a chaotic scene earlier. Students were just getting out of class for the day when shots rang out, triggering fear and panic. And with recent mass shootings on everybody's mind, it left many here wondering, are we next? Everybody at this moment is safe. Uh, parents don't need to be worried safe but still shaken after a student was shot as he was leaving Grant High School Wednesday afternoon. It was just very stressful. Everyone was very chaotic, especially because it was like right when the bell was supposed to ring to get let out. So it was just like all over the place, kids panicking. LA school police say the 10th grade male student was shot in front of the school located on the 13,000 block of Oxnard Street near Coldwater Canyon just before 3.30 as classes were letting out for the day. I can tell you this is a gang related issue. Investigators say the victim was crossing the street when a green sedan with four suspects pulled up and at least one of them opened fire. The victim was hit in the leg and he collapsed in front of the school and that's where the police, school police officer found him and rendered aid as quickly as possible. We got him to a local hospital. At this moment there's non life threatening uh, issues. Students reported hearing several gunshots. Nearby officers also heard the gunfire and rushed to the scene. The campus put on lockdown. And then as soon as the bell rang, they made an announcement saying, like, make sure uh, the teachers to make sure the students didn't get out and to, like, lock the doors and stuff. What's going through your mind when all of a sudden you find yourself on lockdown because of a school shooting? Uh, it was kind of like, uh, it, it felt, like, kind of stressing because of what happened in Texas and everything. He's not alone. Children attending an after-school program just down the street from Grant High also ran for cover after shots rang out. We were immediately rushed inside. All the kids were rushed inside, and the counselors were like, don't doubt us right now. The threat of campus shootings, leaving students to grapple with the reality that their schools are not the safest places to be, even when police are present. You might have to have a permit.